Hello everyone, Jen Caldo here and welcome back to another part of our LA Galaxy series. We are now into the 30th of May. Time has moved on quickly, but not very well. Last time we left off, we'd gone on a five-game unbeaten run and just beaten New York Red Bulls 2-0, Ibra and Let's Get with the goal. Since then, we've played four games offline, lost 2-1 to Houston Diamond Dynamo. Now, they scored twice in 10 minutes in the second half. We had a man sent off. It wasn't great. Then we drew 0-0 with Dallas. Bore draw 1-1 with Montreal Impact. Two goals in three minutes there. And then lost 1-0 to San Jose. Um, and really, it's been quite poor. Uh, and it does mean, when we look at the table, we're down in eighth in the Western Conference um, and actually 12th overall, which is fine. I mean, 12th. I don't really care about this MLS support shield. We're not going to catch up with Vancouver now. question is, are we going to get in the playoffs? We're only two points off. We're a long way off these automatic places. Um, so I don't really think we're going to get there. The bigger question is, are we going to get sacked? At the moment, 45% board confidence is lower than I would like. But we've got games... Uh, at home against Dallas and then away against Portland and then we've got Miami FC in the cup so we'll probably go through um, those three games today actually if we do a kind of highlights of the of the three games then we can see how that's going and then take it from there um, looking ahead further on we'll probably only get about four or five more episodes out of this series as long as I don't get sacked and then we will probably bring this one to an end because I'm not sure how much more time we have for recording here which is why I'm going to take bigger and bigger jumps between games but hopefully we can get some decent results under our belt in terms of transfers we do have Perry Kitchen leaving the club on a free transfer to FC Micheland um, um, he was a player that annoyed me, so I decided to let him go. Uh, but let's jump into this game against uh, Houston, uh, sorry, FC Dallas. You can see they've got a pretty average team. There's not too many players in there that I recognise. Figaro, I do recognise. Um, but we should be winning this game without too much trouble. Um, not much reaction from the players there as I send them out, but... The game has kicked off. We are playing in our usual white kit today. Uh, Dallas in the red. And we've got an early chance here. Ball drops down to Hasidic. Ball goes out wide to Alessandrini. Charges in from the left flank. Finds Giovanni. Now it's Felcher across to Hasidic. <laughs> He's just put it over the bar there. Um, and we have failed to take the lead. We are struggling to score goals. Ibra has dried up. Giovanni with a free kick off the post and caught by the keeper. We are really struggling to get goals today um, and have been for a little while. Ibra has totally dried up and he has got nine or ten goals this season. Uh, nobody else has got more than two. So he really is our only real goal scorer. Um, but... Kitchen here has picked up the ball. I've let him back into the team now. I know he's leaving because I don't really care too much. Here's Dos Santos down the right, taking it up, puts it in. Ibra arrives and he does get his 11th of the season. The goal drought coming to an end there. And we have got the lead against Dallas just nine minutes in. Bingham launches the ball forward. It's cut out but picked up by Felcher. Now Romney. Ball over the top. Ibra in behind. Keeper's Absolutely messed up. Ibra picks it up, finds the back of the net. 12th goal of the season. A complete howler by the goalkeeper there. He rushed out from his line, headed it clear, but straight into the path of Ibrahimovic. What a player to gift an open goal to like that. And there he was. It was almost like a pass, that header. But it's gone into the back of that. 2-0 up within 14 minutes. And we are looking very good. His 12th of the season. Cracking up that goal tally. And if he doesn't win the golden boot, I would be very, very surprised. Free kick from Ziegler. Good save by Bingham there. Decent effort. I mean, I'm not too worried if they do get a goal here. I'd be surprised if we managed to give this one away. And oh, nearly made to eat my words there as they got a goal. But... Still 3-0 at the moment. I'm very happy with this result. If you are enjoying this content and the early look at FM19, do drop a like on the video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Only 16% of people are subscribed. Don't be one of the 84%. Let's get those numbers up. I'd love to hit 20,000 by Christmas this year. So let's try and go for that goal by hitting that subscribe button. But at the moment, 
we're doing all right. I'm going to try and get through this full season, or at least until I'm sacked before the beta is released, and then we'll launch a brand new series. So expect a lot of videos over the next couple of days before the game is fully released. Probably two or three episodes a day, I would imagine. Uh, but all of the content you could possibly need. And at the moment, it looks like we're about to get the win here. 3-0 up, 20 minutes left to go. It's Lamar back to Duca. Now Lamar again. Good tackle there by Hasidic. Pushes it out wide to Alessandrini. Charging down the left flank. Cuts inside. Giovanni over to Hasidic. Ball into Ibra. Now Dos Santos across to Giovanni. In on goal. Saved by the keeper there. Very close to a fourth goal. Felcher to Dos Santos, back to Felcher, ball goes in, cleared away, Alessandrini following up, he's got four in the box, it's cleared away to Felcher, now Dos Santos back again, Hasidic with the shot, puts it wide, he's missed a few chances today, but we are looking like we're about to get a very good win, I'm not making too many substitutions at the moment because I'm happy with the way the team are playing, uh, generally I use them for impact rather than just refreshing the players. Uh, five minutes to go here. We're not likely to give away a three-goal lead, so this will be three more points in the bag. Lamar, though, trying to change that, puts the ball in. It's off the post, cleared away by Steres, and we do escape there. Um, I mean, overall, the team is pretty consistent. I've been putting out the same team for quite some time, but they've been playing very well, uh, or at least getting very consistent ratings, even if we haven't got the results. And I'm pretty sure we will turn this around, we will get to the playoffs, and then it's all to play for if we can get there. Um, but a very good win there by the team. They're reacting very well to that. And it means we do jump back up into the playoff places. Seattle, uh, Portland, very close behind us with games in hand. That is a slight concern. Um, and we do really need to pick it up in the next couple of games if we're going to get further into these playoff positions and not leave ourselves open to risk. Time now for the second game of today's episode. We're away from home against Portland. I'm again expecting a good win in this match after turning it around in our last game. We need the win. Portland are in eighth in our conference. We should be able to beat them. And they are one of our nearby competitors. It's going to be a tough, tough game. But hopefully we can get this win out of the way. Um, we're going to have a look at the Portland team and see if there's any players that we do recognize. Obviously, they do have some good players, but um, their main player seems to be injured at the moment, which is very helpful for us. They've got Blanco, though, on the right, who is a danger. Uh, I'm not too worried about the rest of that team. When you've got Liam Ridgewell at the back, you are always going to be defensively weak. So I'm going to tell the team to carry on from where they left off last time, and hopefully we can get the win. Um, by the way, guys, obviously I'm at the Sports Interactive headquarters recording this series, so if there has been any issues with the audio, it's because there is a lot of background noise. It's quite hard to do recording when you do have lots of other people around you also recording, because there's a lot of information going in your ears, which is why sometimes it's a bit rambly what I'm saying because it is hard to focus on exactly what's going on um, but I've been really privileged to be here playing this game before it's released and hopefully you guys are enjoying seeing it uh, before the beta is released as well it gives you a good look at what's going on as Polo here just puts it over the bar um, I've never managed in the MLS before this is a brand new thing to me which is why I'm not getting too stuck in all the free kick it's a good save um, which is why I'm not getting stu too stuck into the rules the transfers that's not the idea of this I'm just doing this to get a feel for the game the tactics the way it plays um, and then obviously when the bait is out Giovanni scores the goal we have the lead 1-0 up away from home against Portland let's put together a run boys we need two or three wins in a row at least Giovanni here with a fantastic free kick um, but yeah this game this series is just to get a quick flavour for what the game is like, get me back into recording after my break um, and then when the beta's out we will do a proper series and experiments, get back to normal a little bit more but right now we're just having a bit of fun with the new game and enjoying the fact that I've been able to play it ahead of time and show you guys what the game's like so you know what you're getting before you buy the game, although first reviews, if you haven't bought the game yet I strongly recommend you do, I think this has the potential to be the best football manager for quite some time and I really like the last version but this version to me feels incredible and bearing in mind this is an alpha version of the game I've had very few issues with it um, there are a few things that need a little tweak but they will get worked out during the beta as well or probably even before the beta um, but overall I think this is playing it fantastically well as Polo charges at my defense if we concede now I might not agree 
but he's put it wide. So, yeah, we're still happy with the build. 1-0 at the moment, though, in a pretty good position. 20 minutes gone. We are pretty level, the two teams. There's not a lot of shots on target so far. The fact that our one went in is an added bonus, but still a long way to go in this game. Here's Ibrahimovic. Gives the ball away to De Guzman. There's a few yellow cards flying around. Comes to Polo. Holds up the ball. Plays it in behind. Valentin goes for goal, but he's whipped that well wide. Corner for Portland. Flores puts it in. It's cleared out by Kitchen. We can break here with Giovanni. He's given the ball away, though. Steres gets to it. Plays it down the line. It's given straight away again. This route one tactic, I'm starting to see some of the limitations of it. Here's Chara to Flores. Now Amarentas goes for goal, wide of the mark. Here's Ibrahimovic. Five minutes still half time. Giovanni driving forward, picks out Dos Santos, edge of the area. Ball can be whipped in here. Players in the box cleared out by Ridgewell. Polo punts it down the pitch, but easy for Romney. Back over the top, comes to Alessandrini. He's got Ibra there, Dos Santos to Giovanni. Big tackle edge of the area. No foul given by the referee. Valentin again launched it forward, and this time Amarentos has brought it down, goes for goal, puts it wide. Well, for some reason, the referee's going over to VAR here. I'm not sure what this is for. It's a penalty review either for or against us. They don't really make that clear with the VAR. Referees come back. What's he doing? No penalty after review. So I guess that's a free kick to us, is it? I'm not sure what that VAR was for. But it is nearly half time. So I'm not too worried about that. The fact... I think VAR does need to be cleared up a little bit. I'm not entirely sure what's going on when VAR starts to happen. They need a bit more information on the screen, I think. But at the moment, we are 1-0 up. I will take that. If we can get two wins, I would be very, very happy. Two wins in a row, that is. Um, and hopefully we can start to really cement our place in the playoffs. Here's Ibra. Switches out wide to Letgate. He's got players arriving. If he can hold it up, big tackle in the box. Cleared away. That felt like a penalty to me. But we play on anyway to Santos. Out wide to Letgate. He's got a man out wide, but instead he goes into Ebro. It's cleared away. Ball goes forward. Here's Amarentos charging in from the left. Good tackle there. And no review of the penalty. Apparently we're overwhelmed by, or Portland are overwhelmed by something, probably the force of our attack. Um, Cole to Ibrahimovic. Now to Santos to Giovanni. He's got Ebro with him. If he can pick him out, he goes for goal. And it is wide of the mark. Ibrahimovic on the attack. He's got players around him. Tackle from behind by Kara. Already on a yellow card. They're going to go down to 10 men now. And that does make our life a lot easier. With 30 minutes left and a 1-0 lead, they are now a man down. And we can take advantage of this. Our team is quite tired. We are going to have to make some changes. Um, I'm not sure what's going on there. A little glitch. Can't see the players. Oh, I've got a selected position to start adjusting the role. That's not what I want at all. It's not letting me get to the tactics for some reason. If we do it that way, there we go. Now we've got the tactics up. Um, who is most tired? I think Ibra needs a rest, but he also needs to stay on the pitch, unfortunately. Let's bring Kamara on, and also on the right, bring on Hasidic as well, and then see if we can get this game closed out with about 15 minutes left to go. Portland not putting up much of a fight now. This would be a great away win for us against a near rival as well. Portland just below us with games in hand. This is a big win for us if we can see it out. Four or five minutes left to play against the ten men. And it would be extremely, extremely important. Three points. Ball to the back stick. Oh, and they've equalised. You knew it was going to happen. 89th minute equaliser for the ten men. We've probably got two minutes of added time. I don't think we're going to get a goal, but we are going to go very attacking in the hope that we might be able to get a goal here. But this is not helping us, this goal. We have got five minutes of added time. I don't know if this is going to be enough. It looks like time has run out. 15 seconds left. They send the ball forward. Cole brings it down, punts it forward to Ibra. Are there a few seconds left for us? That's gone too far wide. He does keep it in, though, but the full-time whistle goes. And it's a 1-1 one -one draw. That's so frustrating that we've conceded in the 89th minute to a 10-man team. And I'm not happy. I told them to keep their concentration at half-time. And they have not done that. Uh, and it means when we look at the table, we're still in fifth place. But Seattle with a lot of games in hand. Portland, three points behind us with two games in hand. It's not a strong position to be in. 
Board confidence back up to 51%, though. That will keep us in the job for a little while to come. And next up, we've got the United States Cup, I think that is, against Miami FC. Yep, the US Cup against Miami FC, which we should be winning because they're not even loaded into the game. Time now for the final game of this episode. It is the uh, first game in the US Cup. Um, and I've made a controversial decision to drop Ibrahimovic to the bench. He needs a bit of a rest. He's been struggling a little bit with his fitness. He's 89%, and a rest will do him good when we do need points in the league, and I'm not actually bothered about this cup even a little bit. Um, so if we jump straight into the game, Perry Kitchen, the man that I said would never play for me again and is currently trans in the process of being transferred to another club, is captain today, um, which is a nice little turnaround uh, in his fortunes this season. Um, but once I got rid of him, I didn't actually mind if he carried on playing anymore. So let's see if he can put in a good shift for his swan song. I have no idea how good non-league American football is, but today I imagine we will find out. I didn't even realise there was non-league American football, but here we are. Nil-nil, they've held out the first seven minutes. Giovanni to Pontius, puts the ball in. Here is Kamara, goes for goal, comes to Leggett, saved and cleared away. And this is the interesting thing. I put out a full-strength team except for Ibrahimovic because I don't know how strong this team is likely to be. Um, but at the moment, it doesn't look very good based on the fact they've just conceded such a ridiculous own goal through a guy called Jalma. Um, and it is 1-0 to us already. I might rest a few more players a little bit more quickly than I thought in a second uh, if we get another two or three in the first half here, which is a very real possibility. But at the moment, they haven't even had a shot on our goal, so it could be a quiet day for Bingham in goal. Here comes Leggett, Leggett from the left side, finds her Sidic, Leggett again, charging forward. He's still going, pushes it out wide. Good skip tackle there and puts it to the back stick. It's headed wide by our player there at the far side. At the moment, not quite clinical. Eight shots, only one on target. And Dos Santos has picked up an injury, which is the last thing I wanted. A tight hamstring. We need to get him off this pitch as soon as possible. Um, oh, there's a lot of player shifting going on here, but we're going to bring on Jonathan Dos Santos as well and just see what he can do here. Um, but half an hour gone, 1-0. Needs to be a bit uh, more aggressive than it is at the moment here, just 1-0. Five minutes till half-time. They picked up an injury as well. Um, Dos Santos has also picked up an injury. Both of my Dos Santoses have got injuries now. What is going on here? I don't, uh, I don't even know who I can bring on. I'm not going to give a team talk. Um, let's see who we can bring on for this, De Santos. If I do that, I could bring Hesidic. That doesn't work. What about Pontius? Do we have anyone for Pontius? Just let get. I suppose we can bring on Lasita there. He's on the left side. I mean, he's no longer talking to me. Uh, his scout, or his uh, agent, sorry, came up to me after I failed to sell him and said he wasn't talking to me anymore. But he must have there because he's just got his orders to go on the pitch. Um, it's still only 1-0. We are not running away with this game like I expected we would. And we've picked up two injuries in the process. This is not an ideal way to go at this point in the season where we're struggling to get wins but 1-0 it remains here against Miami 15 minutes left to go if they get a lucky goal we're in some deal of trouble I have no idea if there are replays I don't know if it goes to extra time but I don't really think we should be going to either of those outcomes 15 minutes to go Valila to Heath ball goes forward to Martinez are they going to score here Marku back to Heath ball on the diagonal easily dealt with there by us and it's sent forward and Kamara has got it, it's been deadly quiet today but he's in behind the defence, goes for goal and puts it wide well we've now picked up two more injuries, Lightgate and Kamara have both got injured, I only had one substitution, so we're down to 10 men now with a 1-0 lead, but here we come on the attack again and it's over the bar, 5 minutes left to go 1-0, this could be a bit of a nightmare, 6 minutes of added time as well, Lasita with the corner, puts it to the back stick it's cleared away, Pontius back to Lasita, puts the ball across and it's missed by Kitchen there he sends it back to Romney. Now Hasidic comes back to Felcher, and that's wide as well. The t 
players today are showing how reliant we are on Ibrahimovic because this has been embarrassing. Again, another chance over the top. Ibra is our only player of any real quality. There is no doubt about that. Um, but it's also the weird situation where we can't actually improve this team because we don't have any budget and even if we got rid of players they're all on about a grand a week so what would we actually do to improve it? It's the weird quirk of being in the MLS and the system that they have but we have managed to see this game out. Um, it is a 1-0 win. I'll take that because it's another victory under our belt and gets the... Uh, morale of the team a little bit higher than it was before and as you can see that's three games unbeaten now we've got a fifth round draw to come um, after our game against Real Salt Lake but that is going to be it for today's episode I'm starting to think I should just record every video uh, every game because we are unbeaten pretty much in all of the games that I've recorded whereas the ones that I don't record we seem to lose every single game uh, so hopefully that won't continue to be the case I'm not sure how far forward I'll go before the next episode it depends who we play in the cup whether that's an interesting tie um, or if any interesting ties come up but otherwise we're probably looking at uh, bearing in mind how quickly we need to get through these games looking around the dc united columbus new england sort of area but let's just play through a few games and see how we get on do drop a like on today's video if you have enjoyed this and if you are enjoying the series make sure to subscribe as well uh, it does help the channel grow and i'd love to hit that twenty thousand subscriber goal by the end of the year but until next time See ya.